you think the wage gap is based on dis- discrimination? No one knows what accounts for the entirety of the wage gap, but I think it is fair to say that some of it is based on discrimination. I don't know how much of it is, but you know that's just one question. But don't the people disputing the wage gap say that it exists, but it isn't due to sexism, but is rather a reflection of differences in jobs and working hours? Kind of. The problem is that that, is that's, that isn't true. There's an, there's an unexplained wage gap. So if you're claiming that the wage gap is completely explained by choices and differences in jobs and working hours, that's wrong. It isn't. There's a significant unexplained gap in wage, even when you take into account all of those things. And that's that's the problem is they're trying to make it seem like it's not it's we shouldn't even be talking about this because it's completely explained. No one no one's talking about it or everyone's talking about it, but it's not a problem. And it is. And then we have to get into the idea of why, why the things that we can explain, why that even exists, which I think goes back into the sexism debate debate. Why? Why do women make different choices than men? Why are women in different jobs than men? But that, you know, that's an interesting conversation. What's not an interesting conversation is, is there a wage gap? Because the answer is yes, that's settled. There's tons and tons of data, but people want to get stuck on that first conversation, claiming that there's that the entire wage gap is explained by career choices and working hours and experience like that is just wrong. It's just literally wrong. And yeah, and the wage gap isn't the only problem. You know, there's there's lots to talk about that we that is more interesting. But people get stuck on literally the basic point. Do you think it's okay to tell women their choices are wrong if they choose to say study English instead of computer science? I don't know. I mean, no one's choices are wrong. It's not about what it's wrong or what's right. It's about why. Why there? Why are women disproportionately doing things like that? And why? Why is English? You know, why is that paid less? You know, th- those are interesting conversations. If those were the conversations, I'd be all for it. But we're having conversations about whether or not facts are true, and those aren't interesting conversations. Well, because of their nature, that is that's that's one answer. But now you're going to have to back that up with you know some data. Is that true? Is it women's nature? Is it because of women's nature that they're not making money or that they're not doing higher paying jobs. I don't think that's compelling personally if you can't if you can't tell. But that's a common example and I'd be happy to get some data on that. But I just, I mean that's just an example like I've I've talked about the wage cap to death, wage gap to death and I'm kind of sick of it. But that's just an example of how the anti SJW community has like made like one of their not so much anymore but in the beginning that was like one of their go to uh, arguments and it was literally based on a either misunderstanding or misrepresentation of data and that's what they do on almost everything and that's why i don't take them seriously 